Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today, we've got the 11th ranked Southern Utah Thunderbirds, 6-2 on the season, in Cedar City, Utah, hosting the Eastern Washington Eagles, who are struggling. They are 1-6 on the season, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at their schedule and see who's been destroying them this year, here in a moment. Let me get this shared in the Discord, if you're not in there. Go ahead and join us to get yourself on the field in this series. There's a link in the description below. And let me get this off the screen. There we go. Look at the matchup. Thunderbirds, sixth best offense in the country. Number one ranked defense in the land. Eastern Washington on the other spectrum. It's just, it's not good. <laughs> they have the 37th best, uh, best pass defense though. So, you know, they got that going for them. Turnover differential, dead last for the Eagles. And the Thunderbirds, they're ninth in the country. So, huge, huge difference right there. Points per game as well. 49.8 for the Thunderbirds. 16 points per game for Eastern Washington. Let's take a look at the Eagles' schedule. Let's see what's been popping off over here. So, <laughs> they started off with a win. So, they got that going for them. 35-21 over Hofstra. I mean, Hofstra's 0-8 on the year, so... I mean, I guess it's not really anything to to cheer about. Then they lost to Furman by 17. San Diego State beat them by 31. San Diego beat them 66-0. Northern Colorado shut them out 59-0. So, three weeks in a row, I mean, they only scored three points in three weeks combined. That That is just... That's rough. 159-3 to three they were outscored. And then UC Davis hangs 76 on them. But, of course, they put up 45 on the Aggies' defense, which was kind of surprising. I mean, they, they just did really well in that game. Their passing attack was disgusting. But UC Davis only allowed 7 points in that second half to pull away. But that, that game was just insane. Then they lost to Sacramento State. So, look at their their schedule here. 6-3. Six and two, six, five and two, five and two, and five and three. So that's a really tough schedule. I mean, I, I can't really blame them for not having that many wins this season. But let's get it. Let's do this. Let me pull up my chat. Who we got here? We got Alex Dar. We got Slim Chris, Marvin Joseph in the chat. JP Parker, what's going on, buddy? Where am I going? Northwestern offense. That's what I'm doing. And should we go black top, red pants? Let's go red with the black pants. Let's do it. I'm ready. Can we see Ball State and UTEP's schedule after? Um, I mean, I could do that before our next game, which is going to be VMI and uh, Nichols State. Because I'm just going to keep streaming today. So, like I said in the last stream, hope you guys have snacks, drinks, and a comfy spot to sit. Well, welcome to the chat. Ray Senga, a.k.a. Uh, Krista Matthews, in the chat. Chaos Driven, my brother. Defensive tackle for the Thunderbirds as well. And Big Geo, Jay Bomber and Jet Bomber. All right, we are going to kick it off and start the game as soon as I take a sip of this delicious Dr. Pepper and Cream Soda. Not an official sponsor. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. I got you, Ray. I got you, buddy. 99 kick power. Let's get it. We're underway in Cedar City, Utah. Get him. Let's go. All right, let's take a look at that defense, folks. Let's do it. Boom. There it is. Jericho Stevens at defensive end. True freshman D end Audrey Ann. She is number 67. And Adam Joseph at D tackle. Middle linebacker Logan Tyler. And we will go over the secondary here in a moment. One of the toughest stadiums to play in right now. And it would be even louder if they were undefeated. Just saying. Where are you going with that? Uh oh, deep shot. Bryce King out in coverage. And he gets beat, but the receiver drops it. And the secondary, CJ Moreland. He is actually injured for the rest of the season, so we will not see him tonight. Bill Stevens will see him at free safety as well as Emmanuel Wise. And Bryce King at strong safety. We just saw him. 
King and Tyler are the players to watch out for on the defense. These are the star players. Quick pass right side, wide open. And Brooks is going to run over his own coach. All right, third down and three for the Eagles. Crowd going crazy. If only I was sponsored by someone. I know, that'd be nice, right? Don't forget to slap that like button, guys. Appreciate you. That's a first down for the Eagles as Woods dives over the line. All right, let's go a little nickel formation. 99th ranked offense in the country. My goodness. Come on, baby. Go off tackle. I dare you. Nope, that wasn't off tackle. That was a draw play. And I got caught on alignment. Yeah, we're not going to go nickel anymore. That's That's rough. Too many corners out there when we don't have any. Play action. And that is intercepted by Bryce King. Let's go. The defense comes away with it. I think that's just his second interception on the season. All right, let's go on offense. Get some points on the board, shall we? 77 win percentage on the channel, or on this uh, series. Not bad. I'll take it. Harris Gurley gets the carry. Picks up a few yards. Let's take a look at the Southern Utah offense, led by sophomore quarterback Nicholas Hall, number two. Backing him up and playing some receiver is Alex Dar. In the backfield, Cameron Matthews, the junior, and Harris Gurley, the true freshman. Fullback Brandon Lee. The receiving core, Jaquan Freeman and Prince McCutcheon. At tight end, true freshman Dwayne Haynes. And at right guard, the junior, Brandon Red, number 72. High snap for Hall. He's got Jaquan Freeman wide open. And that's a first down inside the 40-yard line. Starting off with a pretty good throw to the flats. I hit Dar on the sideline. Oh, never mind. Offsides. I'll take five free yards. Thank you, sir. All right, let's get it. And we're going to take off here. Nice block by Jaquan Freeman. We'll get out of bounds to avoid a hit on the quarterback. Down at the 21 yard line. Did I share this in the Discord? Yes, I did. Okay. Just making sure, you know, since we only have seven people here. Ron Kemp in the chat. What's up, Ron? Throw it up to Johnson. And Johnson comes away with it. Touchdown, Southern Utah. Thunderbird strike first. Beautiful touch pass to the non-subscriber wide receiver, Johnson. Extra point is up and it is good 7-0 Southern Utah on top Crash of the Thunder you like it? Nice, nice I love having the, the stadium sounds I love it Just gotta get some better ones for a couple of the teams Nice return by Evans and he almost took it the distance Oh my goodness, right up the middle Ball State lost to Rhode Island this week, so there's going to be plenty of movement in the top five with Dayton losing and now Ball State. 
Eagles at Southern Utah's 43-yard line to start the drive. Great field position. And they're going to look to throw it left side. And it's caught by Jacobs. No gain on the play. And they say he somehow got a yard on that play. So second and nine. And a huge hit from Logan Tyler. Sit down, son. It's holding. We're declining it. We don't need it. We don't need your penalties. That hit was just disgusting. Oof. Man. He never saw it coming. It's like a deer getting hit by a freight train. They're down 11 against the number one defense in the land. Quick pass over the middle and another big hit from Logan Tyler. Stops him short of the sticks. And they're going to go for it. Fourth down and three from 36. They are 101st in the country on fourth down attempts. Just 37% conversion rate. Offense having a hard time here in the play call by the quarterback. They're going to hand it off up the middle, and I don't think he got it. And he did not. Jericho Stevens, the junior DN, gets the stop. Let's go. Beautiful play. Looks like we're going to have to take off here. Double coverage over here on Prince McCutcheon. But Hall gets it up to the 45. Kind of an awkward play. Halfback screen dropped by the freshman. Come on now. How do you drop that? Let's hand it off to him, see if he can make up for that drop. Harris Gurley gets the carry, first down. And we'll see a face mask penalty. It's the five yarder. Set up the screen, Prince McCutcheon. Can't get to the outside. Only gets a few yards. Plays just take a little bit too long to develop sometimes. Second down and six from the 34. And they'll come out in the shotgun set. One on one coverage, Dwayne Haynes, the freshman that was overthrown. Lucky that wasn't picked off. And that brings up third down and six yards to go. No, oh, we couldn't juke past him. That's all right, fourth down and two from the 30. We do this. We do this. Let's go. And that's easy first down, easy money. And Hall gets it inside the red zone. Good run. He's up to 703 yards for the season six touchdowns. Jay Washington in the chat. What's up, Jay? Just celebrated your brother's birthday. Nice. Shout out to him. Happy birthday. Quick 
Pass over the middle, and it's caught by Alex Dar. Oh, my goodness. Great awareness by the backup quarterback. Coming over to catch the deflected pass. Bill Stevens in the chat. What's up, Bill? You legend. Second and one from the eight. Cameron Matthews gets the carry, bouncing around, still going, falls into the end zone for the touchdown for Southern Utah. Man, that was a great drive after they stopped Eastern Washington on fourth down. Fourteen and nothing. Nine plays, sixty-seven yard drive. Just under two minutes off the clock. Let's see if our kick coverage can be a little bit better this time around. Not a very good kick. Feels bad. And it's gonna go out of bounds. That's that really feels bad. I wasn't looking at the chat that time. I blame Jay. It's Jay's fault. It's bad luck. Bad luck for me on kickoffs. All right, defense, let's go. Oh, nice tackle by Bill Stevens. Coming up in run support. Second down and four for E-Dub. High snap, quick pass left side, it's dropped by the halfback. And that's that's gonna bring up third down. Crowd getting behind their defense now. They gotta get to the 45 yard line. And I had to play against two receivers there. That's that's unfortunate. First down for the Eagles. Slot receiver can't hear the play call. Could be a disaster. And it is, it's picked off by Kirk. Thunderbirds get another takeaway. Let's go. Beautiful. There's two middle linebackers there, and the receivers were not even close. And Thunderbirds on top, 14 and nothing as we head into the second quarter already. Brazil, 34 yards on four completions. Two interceptions for the game. Who's the shortest player? I think it's this guy right here, Harris Gurley, as he gets it into Eagle territory. It's either him or Quasi Sands, kicker for Jacksonville. They're both very, very small. Jaquan Freeman wide open. Oh my goodness, how do you drop that, Jaquan? What are you doing? Oh, baby. That's a feels bad. Also, welcome, Tom. Welcome. Quick strike caught by McCutcheon. What a throw from Nicholas Hall. That was beautiful. Stunning. Hall, 5 of 8, 59 yards and a touchdown. Left. 
Deep shot. Prince McCutcheon. He's got him. Touchdown, Southern Utah. Another beautiful touch pass from Nicholas Hall. His second touchdown pass of the ball game. Second one on a corner route. And up to 16 viewers now on the stream. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. As always, don't forget to slap the like button, guys. And, of course, you know, subscribe if you're new. All that fun stuff. And the route is on. Did you guys not watch the San Diego and <laughs> an Idaho State game that we just had? It was 21-0 in that game, too. I'm just saying. Defense back out onto the field. See if we can get another takeaway. Oh, I don't know how I didn't pick that. Oh, my goodness. I should have had another one. That would have been the defense's third of the game. You saw it, but you have more faith in the T-Birds. I like it. Oh, Logan Tyler missed the tackle. What? What do you mean? Just letting you guys know, San Diego leads the Pac-10. I'm just saying. Just throwing that out there. They're down in inches for the Eagles. Off tackle. Man, I got blocked. That's, that's a feels bad moment. Get him, Bill. Bill Stevens with the stop at the 42. Who won San Diego versus Idaho State? You'll have to check it out, man. That game was bonkers. Definitely a, a Klein classic. You, it is a must watch. At one point, the Bengals scored two touchdowns in eight seconds. I highly recommend watching them. Seriously. Adam Joseph on the tackle. Six yard pickup for Woods. He's got 56 for the game. Receivers on the left, can't hear the play call. They're going to hand it off to Woods. And he is stopped just short. Joseph, another tackle for the junior defensive tackle. Regear Productions, what's going on, man? Nice run by Woods. Bill Stevens, another tackle. And he has injured his elbow on the play. Okay. So two games in a row, we've had a couple secondary members get injured in the games. Hopefully he's all right and can return, but taking his place is Emmanuel Wise. He is fully capable at free safety. That pass gets maybe two yards. Get him. Nice run by Woods again. He's going to get the first down. And he's up to 80 yards on the number one defense in the country. Stevens out for the game, so luckily it's nothing serious for the free safety. And they have a good backup plan, and Emmanuel Wise to fill in for him. Good pass right side. And a huge hit and a forced fumble from Logan Tyler. That looked like an NHL hit 
checking somebody up against the boards. Second to go from the three. Option. And he cannot pitch it out. That was Hagen on the stop. Cornerback that's filling in for the injured CJ Moreland, who was out for the rest of the season at corner. Third and goal from the six. And that's a touchdown. Man, it's so tough. Single coverage like that. The blitz, we got there. It was too late. Logan Tyler is amazing. Yes, sir. I'll be shocked if he's not drafted in the top ten. He is a tackling machine. Why is the stream lagging a little bit? I'm getting upset, man. Alright, 21-7. 2.15 left in the half. You jinxed it. Yeah, way to go, man. Unbelievable. Juan Freeman on for the return. Let's go, Jaguan. Juan Freeman to the 40. Good return. All right, great field position to start the drive. See if Hall can continue his really good play tonight. Oh my goodness. Freeman, where are you going? What was that? What is that? I switched to Freeman and he just keeps moving away from the ball. What? Oh my goodness. Literally got two animations right there trying to catch the ball. What? <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. This game just blows my mind sometimes, you know? It's a good question, Noah. It's a really good question, man. I don't know what that was. Halfback pass. Sit down. Those career numbers are not accurate. Just letting you guys know. He was a different player in season one. So we're counting him as a transfer. They're down at 14. I'm gonna take a deep shot. He's got him beat. Oh no! Touchdown, Eastern Washington. Wow. 54 yard bomb from Brazil. Unreal, man. That's all it takes is just one insanely ridiculous play where our receiver does two catch animations in a split second, costing us a turnover. And the game is completely swung the other way. All right. Feels really bad. Come on, Jaquan, let's get it. Nice blocking. Jaquan Freeman down the left sideline. Freeman, another great return up past the 45. And he is tired. Goodness, that guy's nine feet tall. Five yard carry for Harris Gurley. Throw it up, Prince McCutcheon. Nice catch down to the 20 yard line. Let's go, Prince. Beautiful play. 
man. A good way for Hall to rebound after that ridiculous interception. Throw it up. Alex Starr back of the end zone. Oh, the quarterback drops it. Should have been a touchdown. That's the dude from last season. What, the giant linebacker? Yeah, it's Shaquille O'Neal out there. Oh, that's a face mask. I'll take it. All right, Freeman is in the zone. Uh, second and five from the 15. See if we can hit him on the slant. And incomplete. Cornerback jumped the route. Now third and five. 31 seconds left in the half. Hall going to take off. He's got the first down. There's another face mask as well. Move it up to the four yard line. That's what I said last season. Well, I mean, it's good to know that my, my thoughts don't change. At least get a field goal. A field goal? What are you talking about? Freeman! No! Oh my goodness. That corner closed on that so quickly. That's what feels bad. All right, let's see. Second and goal from the four. Linebacker shifting to the right. Let's go left side with Harris Gurley. And the freshman finds the end zone. Touchdown, Southern Utah. Let's go. Beautiful play. My computer is such trash, every time I hit the sound for the thunder, the stream lags a little bit. Somebody help me. Somebody just, just donate me a computer, please. All right, 28-14 now. Get him. Let's go. Keep our foot on the pedal. Listen, Bill, we're going to get this dub for you, buddy. Off tackle carry. Uh-oh. Oh, what a hit from Emmanuel Wise. Wow. Running back completely upended at the 34. 11 seconds left. They got two timeouts left. High snap. Oh, my goodness gracious. Come on now. Read that so perfectly. Second and ten. Logan Tyler in the zone at linebacker. Look out. They're going to try to take a deep shot. Brazil is sacked. Jericho Stevens brings him down. That's a loss of 10 yards. And that's going to end the first half, folks. Thunderbirds on top, 28-14 here in Cedar City, Utah, over the Eastern Washington Eagles. Our next game is going to be another stream right after this one, folks. That's right. We're going to keep it going here on this beautiful Sunday. VMI, number one team in the nation, hosting the Nickel State Colonels. That's a Big 12 play. It's going to be a fun one. Cadets riding the longest winning streak in FCS history right now. Don't ask about the stiff arm. Let's go. And another face mask. They just playing dirty out here. 
I tell you what, man. That's like the fourth face mask penalty on the Eagles. There's Gurley, gets to the outside, look, oh my goodness, how did he break away from that block to make the tackle? Unreal. Unbelievable. Hey, don't, don't judge my stiff arms, bruh, alright? Second and one. Hall. Throw it up, Prince McCutcheon wide open, he's got it. Oh, and he gets absolutely destroyed. Oh my goodness, what a hit. And Nicholas Hall is injured on the play. That was just a complete disaster. Guess we're going to be seeing Alex Dar step in and play some quarterback in this ballgame. What in tarnation just happened? Pack 10 is just, just insane. That's all there is to it. And there's a sack. Who got him? I don't even know who that was. It was so fast. Is that Doolin? I think that was Doolin. I don't know. That was Bennett. What am I doing right now? Let's go, do it! Let's go, baby! To the 45! You love to see it. You just love it. I mean, if you're a Southern Utah fan or player. What was that throw? That was terrible. There's two linebackers just sitting there waiting for the ball. And he, he basically just gave it right to them. Alright, let's see what Alex Dar can do under center. I believe he's had a little bit of playing time at quarterback this season. But he's mostly been used in the slot receiver role. Oh, he is so fast. McCutcheon, let's try it again, buddy. Or not, that's cool. How did the ball stay up in the air for that long? Still no word on Nicholas Hall. Can you get that block for me? Never mind, I don't need it. Let's go. Another huge hit on Matthews. Wow. Third down and one. Middle linebacker in the zone. Watch out. Keep it away from him. And Gurley gets the first down and then some. 56 yards on eight carries in the game. And Nicholas Hall is back in at quarterback, so good news for the Thunderbirds. McCutcheon, I see you. McCutcheon drops it. Oh, he is having a rough go of it right now. And these, these linemen are just having their way with Hall. That was a perfect throw. Hold on to it, baby. Let's go. Come on. All right, second and ten now. Linebackers in the zone again. Harris Gurley has the carry. Harris Gurley is in for the touchdown for Southern Utah. Let's go. Beautiful little cut right there. Done. No ankles. They're gone. They're donezo. And it is 35-14 now. Gurley with his second touchdown on the ground today. A 
was the Heisman frontrunner for a few weeks. And then the Thunderbirds had two really tough games in a row. And he, he dropped off big time. But he's stepping up in this game. Oh my goodness, Hagen should have had the pick. I'm blitzing everybody, let's get it. Get him. And we do, let's go, huge sack. And that was Bennett, his fourth sack of the year. He also has three picks. Third and 18 from their own 10 yard line. Logan Tyler in the zone at middle linebacker. Oh, how did I not pick that? Come on. We do get the stop, though. All right. Let's get a block. And we don't get the block. Jaquan Freeman is set to return it. And dropped at the 30. Having a rough time this season returning punts. Cameron Matthews to the outside. Cameron Matthews still going to the 47. Great run down the right sideline. Play was blown up at the start. Brandon Red got pushed back. Might have been a clipping right there as well. But no call by the ref. Let's see what we can do on first down and 10 from the 46. Alex Dar, what a catch by the quarterback, sliding down to his knees to make the acrobatic catch. That is fantastic. Let's go. His first catch of the day, I believe. Uh-oh. Nice block. Jaquan Freeman is wide open, and that is a touchdown again for Southern Utah. And Hall threw that one on a rope. 100 mile an hour fastball into the bread basket of Jaquan Freeman. Plays 69 yards, 43 seconds off the clock. 42 to 14 now. You gotta love seeing Juan Freeman just carry a defender in for the score on that, that touchdown. That was great. Okay, that was nice. Pierre Moss in the chat. What's up, Pierre? Catch the San Diego game, buddy. It is a must watch. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Quick pass, right side. That just almost picked off. Bryce King and Logan Tyler both in the zone for the defense. set up a screen and Logan Tyler slows him down and he gets absolutely rickrolled that was Kirk with the big hit I 
Yeah, no, no spoilers in the chat. No, for the San Diego game. Just go watch it. It was great. What's good? I mean, we got some football today. That's what's good. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Nothing. Terrible throw. Great pressure up front. And that'll bring up fourth down and seven for the Eagles. Their struggles continue here in the third quarter. Get him. Man, can't get any pressure. Let's go, Freeman. And nice return up past the 40. Give it off to Gurley to start off the drive. Pretty sure my, my chair is going to break in half mid-play. It's going to be fun. This chair is probably 100 years old. Nice little six-yard carry for the freshman halfback. top oh nice deflection that was intended for the fullback Brandon Lee all right third and four Let's see what we can do here Gurley out to to the right side split out far oh my goodness Lee was wide open. Not a very good throw. And we will have to punt it away for the first time in the game. Should be a decent kick. And that'll go out of bounds inside the 20. I'll take it. Always good to have football. Yes, sir. Doesn't look like we're going to have much college football in real life this year, so. Got plenty of that on this channel, though. Draw play. The Woods will pick up a few yards. Third quarter slowly coming to a close. About 40 seconds left. Shot, get it. Oh, nice deflection for Hagen. Seven hurries, three sacks, and three interceptions for the defense. Pretty solid performance. Eagles six of nine on third downs. That's pretty rough for the defense, though. I'm pretty sure the Eagles were like 99th in the country on third downs. Deep shot and complete. Hagen with the deflection. Brings up fourth and seven. Another punt for Towns, his third of the game. Jay, you still in the chat, buddy? Juan Freeman? Can't spin past the first defender. And Gurley cuts it to the outside, jukes a man out, and he'll pick up six yards. That's going to be the final play of the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. Southern Utah on top. 42-14 over the Eastern Washington Eagles here in Cedar City, Utah. Eagles on the verge of having a losing season. Playing for pride here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, 
early. Another carry. And he is dropped for no gain. Quick pressure off the right edge. Third down and five. All on the option. That's a first down and then some. Matthews gets the pitch. Stays in bounds to the 47. Keeping the clock churning. Almost 400 yards of offense for the 11th ranked team in the country. Jaquan Freeman gets a carry. Jaquan Freeman. Oh my goodness, down to the 25 yard line. What a run by the wide receiver. Let's go. He ran over three defenders on that play. Just a man amongst boys. I tell you what. Oh, nice deflection. If he wasn't 10 feet tall, that would have been a perfect throw. Trying to get that ball to the freshman tight end, Dwayne Haynes. Just couldn't quite get it over Andre the Giant. Aaron Matthews cuts it to the outside and somehow gets six yards out of it. Great run. Third down and four from the 19. Two touchdowns and two red zone trips for the game. And Juan Freeman will get another carry right up the middle. Still going. First and goal, Southern Utah. Let's go. You got to love seeing the receiver get carries at fullback. Free safety in the zone. And it's off to Harris Gurley who gets absolutely destroyed. The guy has about a foot and a half on him and probably 190 pounds. That's a feels bad. Second and goal from the eight. Throw it up. Brandon Lee, the fullback, is going to score. Touchdown, Southern Utah. Got to get the fullback in on the action. Gets himself a nice little touchdown reception. Extra point, up and good. Thunderbirds cruising. It's 49-14. Man, they will not return that one. Looks like they have a backup quarterback in there, possibly. No, they do not. It's still Brazil. And he is going to be sacked. Who got him? I think that was the freshman. Was it the freshman? Yes, it was. Audrey Ann gets the sack. That was a great play. She kind of broke through two blockers there. All right, brother. Take it easy, man. Second down to 14 now. 
And nice deflection by Bryce King as he swats it into the dirt. They're down at 14 from the 16. And there's another sack. Jericho Stevens just broke Jason Brazil. Defense definitely has stepped it up in the second half. Oh, what a punt. All the way to the 36. And Freeman will make a couple guys miss, get it up to the 48. Toss play to Gurley. He's going to get the first down. He's over the century mark for the game. 106 yards, two scores on 14 carries. Not a bad day at the office. Brazil will return. Just a bruised elbow. We've seen that quite a few times tonight in the two games that we've had. Out here on the West Coast. In Pac-10 play. Matthews. Oh, baby. Good thing he got up after that. That was a vicious hit. You don't love to see that. Freeman in the zone at fullback. Just trying to run some of this clock out. Get out of here without any injuries. Dwayne Haynes in motion to the left side. And Freeman will get the carry. Look out, he's in the open field. Breaking tackles again to the 25-yard line. He is just outstanding. What a beast. He's got three carries and like seven broken tackles. First and 10 from the 26. Under a minute and a half left in the game. And Harris Gurley gets a carry. Great block by Jaquan Freeman. Harris Gurley is gone. Touchdown, Southern Utah. They've got the 50-burger. Freshman gets his third of the game. I feel so bad for the Eagles. They've given up so many points in their three games against some of our schools. They're just having a really bad season. They're about to be one and seven. Thunderbirds, 132 yards, three touchdowns. Mitchell, player of the game for the Eagles, had three tackles, a pick, and a forced fumble for that defense. Deep shot, Bryce King in coverage, and it bounces off the helmet of the receiver. This isn't even a game, but you're glad you got playing time. I mean, you always get playing time, Alex. You're out there almost every play on offense. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You gonna throw a pick, baby? Logan Tyler gets it. Let's go. Oh! Oh, the juke! Inside the 20. Let's go! Four takeaways for the number one defense in the land.
That juke was just incredible. That's a middle linebacker doing that. Oof, that's rough. <laughs> Yeah, you got a few plays at quarterback. Alright, 104 left in the ball game. Nicholas Hall on the option, and Hall's gonna get it inside the 10. First and goal. He's over 260 yards of offense. Trips to the red zone, three touchdowns. Throw it up top, Prince McCutcheon, back corner, he got him! Touchdown, Southern Utah Thunderbirds. And that is the 60 burger, folks. Not only do they have the number one defense in the country, they are a top 10 offense as well. And when they're on fire, it's, it's real hard to stop them. Four trips to the red zone, four touchdowns. Prince is a beast, yes sir. He just needs to be able to catch the football a little bit better. I believe he leads all subscriber receivers in drops in his career. Get him! Oh, nice juke, nice juke. Jay, how many wins in a row does VMI have? I know they broke Savannah State's record. Is it 18 or 19 right now? Oh, instant sack right up the middle. It's Jericho Stevens again. He's got the trifecta. The hat trick, if you will. This defense is playing out of their minds right now. Bryce King in the zone. That's strong safety. And they're going to keep it on the ground now. And a nice stop from Adam Joseph. The defensive tackle. And that's going to do it, folks. Southern Utah, number 11 team in the country, destroys Eastern Washington 63-14 in Cedar City, Utah. In front of a sellout crowd, not really because the upper deck is almost completely empty. Doesn't help that they have two losses on the season, but they're getting there. Just absolutely dominated tonight. Domination from start to finish. Eastern Washington has allowed over 210 points against our three of our schools that they've faced this season. And they've only scored uh, 14 points against those three schools. That, that is a feels bad. Over 500 yards of offense for the Thunderbirds. 213 passing yards. Sacked zero times. We sacked them six times. They had four turnovers, all interceptions. We lost a fumble and threw one pick, which was just ridiculous. How often do you see a receiver do two catch animations in, you know, .01 seconds? All right, Bill, take it easy, man. Enjoy that cheeseburger. All right, 21 points in the fourth quarter. We kind of poured it on there a little bit. That's all right. 63-14. Hall, 12 of 23. 213 yards, five touchdowns, one pick. Really good game from him. And it helps that his offensive line did not allow him to really get hit at all. He got hurt on an option, I believe. Gurley, 132 yards, three touchdowns. Cameron Matthews, 59 yards on a score. Hall had 61. Jaquan Freeman, three carries, 49 yards for the wide receiver. Six broken tackles. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. He also had two catches, 32 yards on a score. Prince McCutcheon, over 100 yards receiving, two touchdowns. Dar, two catches, 35 yards. Brandon Lee, one catch, eight yards, and a touchdown. And Harris Gurley had a drop. Freeman, Dar, and McCutcheon, he had two drops. 
like I said, pretty sure he leads um, all subscriber and Discord players in drops in his career. It's a little rough. Logan Tyler, six tackles. Bill Stevens, even though he missed the entire second half, pretty much, he had six tackles as well. Jericho Stevens, three tackles for loss, three sacks. Aaron Bennett had two sacks. Audrey Ann, one tackle, one for loss, one sack. Efficient. I like it. And interceptions all by different players. Hunter Doolin had one, Terrence Kirk, Logan Tyler, and Bryce King. King also had three deflections. Logan Tyler had one and a forced fumble. And that will do it, my friends. All right. Mitchell, Byers, and Miller plays the game for Eastern Washington. Hall, Gurley, and McCutcheon, players of the game for the 11th-ranked Thunderbirds. Our next game, the Nickel State Colonels. Travel to take on the VMI Cadets. Colonels are three and four on the season. Cadets, they're eight and zero on the year. They're riding a 19-game winning streak. Can they get the big 2-0 in Lexington, Virginia, in front of most likely a sellout crowd against the Nickel State Colonels? Find out next, guys. Give me about five minutes, and I will get that stream set up and good to go. Slap the like button on your way out of the stream. Subscribe if you're new, and join our Discord community. There's a link in the description below. Take it easy, guys.